Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 18th August 2018. I am Sagan Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, a company based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, or more importantly, how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website and click on the About menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, we'll analyze oil and gold, these two commodities, using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading, we like to align the trades with the broad market direction. We will study market direction using market breadth of NASDAQ and NYSE and technical charts of the four broad market ETFs. In addition to aligning our swing trades with market's direction, we like to align them with industry strength as well. We will study that using industry scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may go through some of the recent examples from our traders forum and look for trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this at a glance template because it can help us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart since the bearish headwind signal appeared oil is continuing to fall, the backdrop candle colors are remaining bearish, that is magenta. In the daily chart, oil is resisted by many resistance memories. It came close to the lower boundary this week and then went up somewhat. It is in downtrend, therefore we are not going to take any long trade and there is no short setup right now. If next week oil goes up little bit and turns down from the memory resistance lines and the daily gives us a magenta color candle, that may be the signal for the next trend following go with pro short trade setup. Gold ETF GLD in the weekly chart it is continuing to drop sharply. In the last market roundup I mentioned that if price went up above this watermark support line it might give us a low risk entry opportunity probably a bounce long setup but that didn't happen instead gold dropped heavily. In the daily chart, gold is far below the lower boundary lines. It is oversold. We are not going to try any short trade and there is no long trade set up right now. Therefore, we will stand aside from taking any swing trade in gold right now. From commodities analysis, we move on to market breadth analysis. 
Every week we study market's internal health using NASDAQ Composite Index and NYSE Composite Index both using weekly charts. As this study is using broad indices and longer term weekly interval, it is to be used more for longer term investment decisions, not so much for swing trading and certainly not for day trading. The bearish divergence that started many weeks ago between NASDAQ Composite Index and New High Low is continuing. New High Low is not able to break above the trend line. If we look at the candle chart, then we see NASDAQ is effectively moving sideways for six weeks from here to here. In terms of internals, all the NASDAQ internals went up this week and they closed in the positive. However, if we look at the magnitude of the internals, they are positive but much lower than previous peaks. That weakness is reflected in the candle move which is effectively a sideways move. NASDAQ closed marginally lower this week whereas NYSE though it tried to go down in the beginning of the week it recovered and closed marginally higher. On a closing basis NYSE is now moving effectively sideways for four weeks. NYSE internals, all three of them also went up and closed in the positive. The internals strength for NYSE is better than that of NASDAQ. The memory support lines for both NASDAQ and NYSE are not breached. Therefore, for longer term interval, they are continuing to be in uptrend. They will be in uptrend until these memory support lines are broken. For this specific way, internals are bullish and candle movement is neutral. This is not giving much confidence on the strength of the bulls. At the same time, market is certainly not bearish. It may be safer to stay away from stocks that are already overvalued and look for shorts in stocks that are at the very top. Let's see if this is the same conclusion we reach from the broad market ETF study. S&P 500 ETF SPY One week ago we had a bearish shape candle, candle with upper tail and this week we have a bullish shape candle, candle with lower tail. Activity is low for both the weeks. Last week's activity was even lower. This shows there is indecision in the market. One week with upper tail, one week with lower tail is showing the indecision. In the daily chart, after displaying the bearish headwind, it pulled back to the value area. On Wednesday tried to go down, ended with a bullish shape candle and from there went up for next two days. It is kind of moving sideways bound by the watermark resistance lines at the top and memory support at the bottom. There is no clear direction. We may stay away from taking directional trades in SPY. NASDAQ ETF QQQ Again in the weekly chart we have multiple candles with long upper tail and this week we have a candle with both upper and lower tails. Interestingly this week price tried to touch the memory support line and very precisely went up from there. That happened on 
Friday and before that on Wednesday when it moved up from close to the memory support lines. Looking at that, some very profitable long day trades could be taken. For swing trading, there is no opportunity right now. It is inside a triangle pattern bound by resistance memory and support memory. Until it goes out of the triangle pattern, the direction is not clear and we may stay away from taking directional trades. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA This week's candle shape and color both are bullish. Last week we had a candle with upper tail that is bearish shape. In the daily chart after displaying the bearish headwind it tilted down. On Wednesday it hit the yellow direction line and bounced up from there. That was the same time that QQQ was also bouncing up from near the memory support line. Thursday and Friday closed higher. It is also similar to SPY bound by resistance watermarks at the top and yellow direction line at the bottom. It is not in clear uptrend because we can see lower low here whereas higher high here. We may wait for the direction to be clearer before taking any trade in DIA as well. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. This is one ETF where the weekly is remaining magenta for four weeks. The relative performance is showing the weakness. We were looking for a bearish setup in IWM. Because the weekly was magenta, we were looking for a magenta color candle in the daily chart. That is, we were looking for go with flow short trade setup. We had two magenta color candles. However, both of those candles had long lower tail. That didn't meet the checklist conditions. Therefore, we would stay away from taking any short trade in IWM on those two days. Now IWM is inside a triangle pattern until it moves out of the triangle pattern we will stay away from taking any directional trades. When most or all of the broad market ETFs are showing indecision individual stocks may also show indecision. This may be a time to be careful about taking swing trades. We may still look for some opportunities but it is probably better to scale down the trading volume. Four week sector performance. We are studying 11 sectors across three review periods. Red bar represents performance of this week. Green bar performance of one week before the red bar and blue bar performance of two weeks before the green bar. Together this gives us four weeks or about one month of performance. This week seven sectors gained and four fell showing an overall bullish picture at the sector level. However if we look at the best performing sectors that is real estate, consumer staples, utilities and telecom. They are all either defensive sector or those giving higher dividend yield percentage. These are not the growth sectors. It may be time to focus on defensive stocks and avoid high growth stocks, especially those that are overvalued and with declining EPS. You can find those stocks in minutes using Q scorecard. Information technology declined this week. In the last market roundup itself, I had warned about infotech sector. Observing the spotty, that is cyan magenta cyan pattern in Q sector heat map. Infotech had gained one week ago. We can see the green bar is positive. One week ago it was going up. 
However, looking at the heat map, we could decide to be cautious and that would be helpful because Infotech fell down this week. Let's look at the sectors from Q Edge. From the sector heat map, we can see that real estate, consumer staples, utilities. These are the best performing sectors right now. Infotech, materials, energy are the worst performing sectors. If you focus on information technology, you can see the spotty color change from cyan to magenta to cyan to magenta to cyan to magenta again. This is what I observed one week ago also and cautioned against taking new long positions in information technology. Real estate is strong and it is showing strength across multiple review periods. If you remember last week's market roundup, you would know that last week several real estate industries decelerated. However, they gained strength again this week and went up. That might have given some buy the deep opportunities in this week. Consumer staples was very weak earlier, tried to gain strength, turning cyan, turn magenta again and turn cyan again. Is this down up down up move going to continue or is it going to now go up as a defensive sector you may keep an eye on this sector if it continues to go up you may be able to buy some good value stocks while they are at a very low price from sector analysis let us now continue to industry analysis best performing industries 10 of the best performing industries of this week. We are looking at their 5 days and 10 day scores. Drug retail is one of the best performing industries. Walgreens Boots Alliance WBA is a stock in this industry. I had discussed this stock on 7th July in the weekly market roundup explaining why there was a low risk buy opportunity. Why was it so? because the industry was accelerating at that time. Prior to that, drug retail industry was weak for a long time. On 7th July, we noted that it started to accelerate. WBA was optimally valued and since then WBA has gone up significantly. Using the bound straight setup, you could buy WBA at the very low. Let's look at the best performing industries from QA, locate drug retail and drill down into WBS fundamentals and then technicals. In QA, the best performing industries of the week are shown in cyan color over 5 days period. Drug retail is one of the strongest industries. Let's drill down. WBA is a stock that is still of very nice valuation. The valuation column is in cyan color and it is also having very good earnings growth both over the yearly periods as well as the recent quarterly periods. Earnings quality is strong, pays a dividend yield of 2.5%. Let's look at WBS technical charts. This is WBA. This Wednesday it gave us a cyan color candle. By the end of the day, price was already close to the upper boundary lines. We would probably not take a long entry at the close of the cyan candle. However, if we were running Q sonar during the day, we could probably enter the trade somewhere in the middle of the candle, giving us acceptable reward risk ratio. That trade closed with profit by the weekend as it hit the upper boundary lines. This is a recent entry in WBA. However, we had discussed WBA long time ago. When during this earnings period, it tried to go down. There was very high activity and then immediately next week it reversed. Right at the point it was going above the watermark support level using the daily chart. We could take a 
bounds long trade setup which was also accompanied by false downside breakout somewhere along this line. From there price has gone up significantly. Others may be taking notice of WBA now looking at the daily chart and the weekly chart. However, using Q reversal trade setup, the fundamental strength of the stock using Q vital and industry's acceleration at that time, we could get into the stock somewhere in July, long before this week. That is how often Q systems and techniques can be used to get into a fundamentally strong stock much ahead of others. There may be other long opportunities that you could have in the other best performing industries. You may look for potential longs for the coming week as well. For saving time, we will just look at one or two examples for each of the categories. Let's move to worst performing industries. These are 10 of the worst performing industries. We are looking at the industries 5 days and 10 days scores. Four of the worst performing industries are in energy sector. These are oil and gas equipment and services, oil and gas drilling, oil and gas exploration and production, and oil and gas refining and marketing. ESP is a stock that is overvalued in oil and gas drilling and it also has slowing EPS growth. After earnings, it tried to go up with very feeble volume. We we'll look at it momentarily on Q charts and then gave a go with flow short setup on daily chart on 9th August. This week it went down by 13.5%. In this manner, looking at the weak industries, oil and gas drilling was one of them, identifying overvalued stocks in the weak industry ESP was one of them and then waiting for a technical low risk short setup we could catch ESP at the opportune moment and take a very high probability low risk trade that ended up being very profitable this is what we call 360 degrees trade where industry strength weakness Fundamental strength weakness and technical strength weakness are all aligned before we take the trade. Let's look at the worst performing industries in QA. Locate oil and gas drilling, then drill down into ESP's fundamentals and technicals. In QA, the worst performing industries of the week are shown in magenta color over 5 days period. You can see several of the energy industries are among the worst performers. Oil and gas drilling is one of them. It was cyan strong earlier, turned magenta, tried to turn cyan again and now magenta for several review periods. Let's drill down. ESP is a stock that instantly we can see is overvalued. The valuation primary column is in magenta color. And from the EPS columns, we can see both yearly EPS as well as recent quarterly EPS all are in bright red. So it is overvalued and earnings is poor, earnings quality is poor as well. These are the stocks we would like to take shots on. Industry is weak, fundamentals is weak. All we need to do is wait for the technical setup to come on Q charts. Let's look at Q charts. ESV. In the weekly chart, it tried to go above the watermark resistance line and in this week closed at the watermark resistance, you can say, with long upper tail. Q traders are always watchful of long upper tail candles. They often precede a down move in the stock. After that it displayed a bearish headwind signal in the weekly chart. In the earnings week, we had an indecisive candle. The same was true next week as well. 
one week ago we had a bearish shape candle and this week the stock fell sharply. This week opened just below the memory support line and continued to drop below that. In the daily chart, it tried to go above the watermark resistance line and reversed promptly. After that, it came to the yellow direction line. This was earnings day. From there, price gradually moved up. However, the move up was in very feeble volume. Then we had a magenta color candle on this day. We could take a shot right at that time. Somewhere here, putting stop just above recent high. As price hit lower boundary this week, we could book at least partial profit. The stock is still fundamentally weak. Industry is weak. Weekly candle is very bearish. This is a case where we would not like to close enter position. Would like to hold partial position trying to let profit run. Partial profit, few traders will always book with discipline at the initial profit target that was hit this week that was the lower boundary levels. Other than best and worst performing industries we look at accelerating industries because they tend to be best performing industries in subsequent weeks. We are looking at these industries 5 days and 10 day scores. You can see their 5 day scores are all much bigger than 10 day scores. Agricultural products is one industry that accelerated. DAR is optimally valued in this industry. And it has improving quarterly earnings growth as well. So this is opposite to ESV. ESV was overvalued and deteriorating earnings growth. We were looking for short setup in that stock. And in DAR, we have the opposite case. It is optimally valued and improving earnings quality. Therefore, we will start to look for long trade in this stock. DAR, it shook out weak holders after the latest earnings result. Now, weekly has long lower tail candles for two successive weeks. Daily came up from the yellow direction line and candle color turned bullish, you may look for a low risk buy opportunity in the coming days. DAR was in agricultural products. Another related industry is agricultural and farm machinery. It is not in this 10 most accelerating list. However, this industry, agricultural and farm machinery, is also accelerating. We can see that from QH. In that industry, DE, is a stock that again has improving earnings growth. It has found support at weekly as well as daily memory support lines. DE gave a very profitable gap long setup on Friday. You may also look for low risk buy opportunity in the next week while keeping in mind the nearby daily memory resistance trend line. Let's look at the accelerating industries in QA. Look at agricultural products and agricultural and farm machinery industries. Then drill down to DAR and DE respectively. That will complete the top-down analysis. In QA, the accelerating industries of the week are shown in cyan color in PACE 5 days column. Agricultural products is one of the accelerating industries and so is agricultural and farm machinery. You can see from the heat map that agricultural product score has already turned cyan but farm and machinery is not fully cyan yet. That is the industry was behind and it is speeding up with the acceleration that is showing up in base column cyan color. Using this indicator pace indicator, we are able to 
catch lagging stocks that are starting to accelerate. Let's drill down into agricultural products first. From the color coding, we instantly see DAR has optimal valuation. And if we look at last three quarterly earnings, we can see it is changing from minus 60 to 200 to 180. It is bright green in last two quarters. So it has improving earnings while the stock is still optimally valued. Let's drill down into agricultural and farm machinery. DE, this is a stock that is medium value, yellow color in valuation column, but it is having excellent earnings growth, both yearly earnings as well as quarterly earnings. These earnings are improving. Let us look at these two stocks, DAR and DE, using technical charts to see how you could take profitable long trades or how you can look for profitable long trades. DAR, in the weekly chart, after last earnings, it went up significantly. One week ago, it had earnings again. That week ended with a long lower tail. And this week, price again tried to go down but recovered very nicely. We have an inside candle in this week. In the daily chart, after displaying the bearish headwind, it moved sideways, fell during earnings. And now it has recovered nicely and it has given us a cyan color candle on Friday. The weekly candle is not cyan yet, however the shape is very bullish and daily is supported by yellow direction line. We have a cyan color candle, white direction line is below price. So we may be able to take a low risk long trade in DAR putting stop below recent low and trying to book profit somewhere near the watermark resistance or near the upper boundary lines. DE, we already had the weekly memory support line. Price went up from there multiple times. This week it tried to go below that and closed strongly above the memory support line. In the daily chart, we had a bullish headwind signal. Price went up from there tried to retest the level of the bullish headwind and on Friday tried to go below that however closed sharply higher with extreme high activity. Friday opened with a gap down. The stock is fundamentally strong. The industry was accelerating. Therefore combining the industry strength, fundamental strength and the gap long trade setup, one could take a very profitable entry using fine tune chart. Let's move to the fine tune chart to see how you could take the entry. This is DE using fine tune 5 minute chart. I have drawn this orange color line that is the level of the daily memory support line. On Friday price opened at this level much below previous day's low that was a big gap down open. After that early range high and early range low lines were drawn. On this candle price went above the early range high line. Because the candle had a long upper tail you may be careful and take the trade probably at the close of the next candle. Top would be just below early range low. From there as price went up and hit the green pivot line, more than risk distance was covered, partial profit could be booked at that time and partial position could be held. The trade could be initiated as a gap long day trade entry at the end of the day, the stock closed sharply higher 
looking at that one might hold partial position trying to let profit run we have discussed this technique several times that is to look for support in the higher time frame in this case we had support both in daily as well as weekly from the memory support lines and then we could take the entry using fine tune chart you could take it as a gap long trade or if you were using only daily chart you could take the long at this price level when price initially tried to go down but was going above the memory support line stop would be just below day slow by the end of the day more than risk resistance was covered and again even using daily chart memory support line false downside breakout entry you could book partial profit and try to let profit run as you can see there are multiple memory resistance lines this is what i mentioned we need to be aware of if price goes to the memory lines and reverses from there then q traders will quickly close the remaining position however if it pierces above the memory resistance lines tilts down probably and continues to go up then q traders should continue to hold the remaining position this way we try to book partial profit quickly put stop in such a way that the entire trade is risk free as a whole and try to let profit run in the remaining position i explained just a while ago how we could take a very low risk entry in wba when it was not on anyone's radar de is also at a very low price level bouncing up from memory support line it is probably not in many people's radars if it continues to go up people may take note of this around 155 160 or maybe even 165 level when it goes above the watermark resistance however using our reversal trade setup we are able to take a long entry much earlier and we are always aligning the industry and fundamental strength thereby taking a 360 degree straight we saw de and dar having good fundamentals good industry strength and we were looking for long trade the opposite is true for decelerating industries they tend to be worst performing industries in subsequent weeks i see some traders are okay to trade stocks with very questionable fundamentals i am happy to trade them as well however from the short direction in the decelerating industries internet software and services system software application software these three are quite related information software services system software and application software and there are many overvalued or poorly valued stocks in this industries i prefer to short them instead of trying to take a long position when internet software and services was decelerating we could easily identify using q score card the stock q a h u y a that is still overvalued it gave a series of trend following go with flow short trade setup starting from 30th july all of which turned out to be very profitable even in this week it dropped by more than 20% so in this case we could combine industry's weakness fundamental weakness with q technical short setup to get significant profit let's look at internet software and services in q age decelerating industries and then drill down to h u y s fundamentals and technicals in q age the decelerating industries of the week are shown in magenta color in the page 5 days column internet software and services it was strong and for a long time we can try to go up over 10 days cyan color and now we can take again let's drill down let's look for hoya we could sort by valuation primary column double click again to get the worst 
valuation stocks to the top HUYA has no earnings data valuation is magenta that is overvalued these are the stocks we would like to short especially when the industry is weak or weakening which happened this week actually it started some time ago let's look at HUYA's technical charts HUYA its weekly candle colors are magenta for quite a few weeks for four weeks now we could start to take short trades starting from this magenta color candle price came down tried to go up gave a magenta color candle tried to go up in the very next bar and then dropped again we could take a shot at this point put stop just above recent high we had series of magenta color candles all of which gave us go with flow short trade setup this week it dropped heavily more than 20 percent all those short trade would exit with large profit this is a case where we could take a shot in a weak industry in a stock that is fundamentally weak and where technical charts gave us a series of trend following short trade setups let me summarize first after that i will use q sonar to explain different ways that traders can look for trading opportunities when we look at market break we see that nasdaq is moving sideways in the weekly chart for 6 weeks and NYSE is moving sideways in the weekly chart for four weeks. The bearish divergence of NASDAQ and new high low is continuing. This is not showing bearishness, at least not in the price move, but not showing the strength of the bulls as well. When we looked at the broad market ETFs, we see that most of them are moving inside a kind of triangle pattern the direction is not clear and when that happens probably many stocks are also not giving clear direction it may be better to stay away from many new directional trades especially breakout trades at the same time drilling down to industry level not sector level sector level is also too broad drilling down to industry level looking at industry strength and acceleration or weakness and deceleration you are able to locate opportunities where industry strength weakness fundamental strength weakness and technical strength weakness are aligned we could identify such trade setups in this week and some may be coming in the coming week as well that was the summary let us look at q sonar now in meta stock q global we have this q sonar programs implemented as explorer and those can be combined in very creative ways for example if I am looking for trend following long opportunity, go with flow long opportunity, then I may look for stocks that are also above slow direction line and very slow direction line, that is above yellow and white direction lines. By doing that, I am taking trend following long in stocks that are in longer term uptrend we could click on summary sort the sonars appropriately and we could run it this is the list of s p 500 stocks we could run the exploration it will find the stocks that are above slow direction line first it is running that sonar now after that it will let me check one thing yes i use the option use the results from the preceding exploration so we want to apply one filter first and 
gives the outcome for the next sonar and then outcome of the second sonar as input to the third sonar that is looking for trend following long opportunities. So we have narrowed down from more than 500 stocks to only 46 stocks. We are going to take long only in fundamentally strong stocks. So what we can do, we can copy this list and let me use Q vital now because these stocks are in different industries. I copy the data from Metastock Sonar paste into a work area if I am able to paste. Copy from Metastock paste into work area. Just get the symbols. Turn the mode to manual. Paste the symbol list. We have 46 symbols and calculate the vital statistics. It has calculated. Now in this stock list, I am going to look for stocks that are either having good valuation or good growth. And I would like to remove the rest. Let's look for stocks with optimal growth. We can look for green color growth in the latest quarter. These are possible candidates. Or we could clear that filter, look for stocks that are having optimal valuation that is filtered by color cyan here so we could look for long in these stocks the other stocks let me sort by valuation these stocks are having poor valuation so any one of them that has quarterly earnings growth in not bright green let me delete them now I am left with stocks which are either having very nice valuation or very nice growth in the latest quarter. So this will be my list of stocks where I am going to look for long opportunities. Not the 45 stocks but now it is reduced to 31 stocks. We could open all of them in Metastock or we could open them in Trestation. To save time, let me open them in trade station. Take the ticker symbols, go to Q sonar. This is our symbol list. We had already discussed D E D A R E S P H U I A W B A symbols that we got from Metastock. These are all showing go with flow long setup. As you can see, the G W F go with flow column is cyan. Using Q sonar, either Trestation here or we could do the same thing in Metastock. We are going to look for trend following trades that are not already above upper boundary. If we have a green color here in the boundary column, then we know it is already above upper boundary. We would not like to long them now, so let me delete those stocks. In Metastock, you could do the same thing by adding the sonar that is where is the boundary in metastock we could do the same thing by adding the sonar between upper and lower boundaries now out of these go with flow long trade candidates if we look at the pendulum column several of them are already at pendulum high let us get rid of those stocks now we have only handful of stocks where we have a trend following long trade setup and the stock is not at pendulum high and it is not above upper boundary. So we started with more than 500 stocks. We ended up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 6 stocks. All of these are having good fundamentals, either good valuation or having improved earnings growth. They are having a trend following long setup the stocks are above yellow and white that is longer term direction lines so let's look at one of them one or two of them let's look at jbht this looks interesting jbht weekly has a memory support line coming from far away in fact the bottom was caught very nicely by the bullish headwind signal 
and for several weeks this is providing nice support the memory line this week ended with a very bullish shape and color candle in daily at the time of earnings the stock had some volatility it tried to go down came to the same memory support line that was in the weekly went up tried to go down and went up again on friday it has a cyan color candle weekly is also cyan therefore it has given us a go with flow trend following long trade setup let's look at jbht's industry to complete the 360 degrees analysis in q8 or q scorecard we can look for jbht we can see it has improving earnings growth earnings quality is cyan that is strong let's do a peer analysis doing the peer analysis shows that there are other good valuation or strong growth stocks as well in this industry our aim was to look at the industry strength let's go to the industry panel and instantly from the heat map we can see that tracking jbht's industry was weak earlier and now improving therefore in jbht we have a possible long setup where industry strength fundamental strength and technical strength are aligned and in this case we could look for the stock using bottom up analysis starting with q sonar and as i demonstrated you could combine multiple q sonars in creative ways to find the exact kind of stock pattern that you want and not looking for indicator setups at the end looking for trade setups you could use q sonar in similar way to look for reversal trades as well if you look at de we already analyzed this stock earlier you can see that it has given us a bound long trade setup and if we look at the direction column dir column we can see it is bright red that means de is below both yellow as well as white direction lines that is it is in downtrend and when the stock is in a downtrend we have a bound straight setup with extreme high activity those are potentially very lucrative long opportunities because we saw fundamentally de is strong dar on the other hand it has given us a trend following long trade setup fundamentally it is strong and it is already in uptrend that is in direction column we can see it is above the longer term direction lines it is at pendulum high as well for trend following trade people may look for longs that are above the longer term direction lines dar is such a stock for bounce trade setup one may look for a stock that has dropped a lot and that would therefore be below the longer term direction lines and de has given such a trade setup one stock that caught my attention is rkda let's have a look at that it went up by more than 13 percent on friday it has a stretch release signal that is it was oversold and now the oversold condition has gone away the traffic column is showing that it was not green earlier but now it changed to green it went up by 13 percent plus therefore relative performance is positive is green bullish it is at pendulum low the pendulum column is showing that and direction column is showing that it is below the longer term direction lines let's look at the technical charts of rkda rkda in chemical manufacturing in the weekly chart it shoot up very strongly and equally strongly it declined then it is having downward move but the pace of downward move is slowing down the candle colors change to yellow in the daily it is still in downtrend it is bound by memory resistance lines however on friday it went up strongly if it 
goes above the memory resistance lines, it may give a very low risk long entry opportunity. But to be a 360 degree straight, we need to check its fundamentals and industry strength. Let's have a look at that. RKDA from QA. We can see the valuation is not good. It's in magenta color. Earnings is not good as well. Therefore, fundamentally, this stock is not strong. Only thing positive in terms of fundamentals, Q vital for RKDA is the short squeeze potential. What about the industry strength? To check the industry strength, let's do a peer analysis. Agricultural products. We found another stock in this industry earlier, TAR, that was giving a possible long opportunity. And the industry is strong. It was weak earlier, magenta now turning into strength. Therefore, for RKDA, everything is not aligned. Fundamentals is not that great, except that it has a short squeeze potential. Industry strength is good. In terms of technicals, it is below the memory resistance lines. However, if it can break above those memory resistances, there is a case for trying to take a long trend based on the industry strength and also very sharp drop, short squeeze potential. It may go up sharply as well. The Q sonar, both in air station and the Q sonar programs in Metastock can be used in many creative ways to identify trade setups. That is all that I wanted to share in today's session. Thanks a lot for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably. <music>